morning. Step into my office. Welcome back. First order of the day, Walgreens. As you can see here, nine bucks, one point something miles. 10 Mountain Dew 20 ounces. Let's go. All right, we're need a car for these bad boys. What's up, beautiful people and people of the land of YouTube? Pedro Dora Santiago back at you. So today's Saturday. I've only worked, I think, 27 hours this week. I didn't work at all on Monday. I had some seven-hour days. This, I usually don't like to work on Saturdays lately, but I said, you know what? I haven't hit, yet hit my goal. only got a little bit to go. And I can work about four or five hours today and still be at a, I mean, I feel like I haven't worked a lot, but I've made good money. I had that one Uber day that was fantastic, $331. Um, that was great in like seven and a half hours. So I'm gonna stay out a little bit. Let's see what we get today. As you can see, maybe uh, the thumbnail and or description brought you here, hope so. I wanna let you guys know one thing. Don't forget, if you're subscribed, hit that bell notification. I keep forgetting to say that. So that you're notified when I post. Sometimes I post at four, sometimes it's 10 p.m. Sometimes there are premieres, which means it's like a live chat and sometimes there isn't. Hit that bell notification for my boy right there. And um, let's get into today's content. I said for my boy. Duh, it's for me and for you. Hit that bell. Let's All right, go. we're on our way to our second order. Uh, 625, it was 2.9 miles, one item, alcohol, 7-Eleven. Haven't been to a 7-Eleven all week. I mean, getting some, but haven't been good. Usually I go there uh, 10 to 20 times a week. It's my first one and it's Saturday. So, real quick, we're gonna do this and then we're, the video is gonna be about stacked orders. Everything you need to know about stacked orders, add-on rod orders, double dash, what DoorDash tells us, what my experience, what I think of them. So stick around if you wanna know a little bit more about that and uh, what I feel about them. Cause I do a lot of them as you guys know, but not all stacked orders are great but sometimes on the surface, they might look good and actually be detrimental to your earnings. Let's get into So for me, I enjoy stacked orders. I think mostly they're positive. I peeped the Amazon truck. Mostly they're positive. And for me, if they're at the same merchant pickup or you know, a merchant that's really close, which most of the time it will be the same or one that's in the same plaza, across the street, maybe just even down the street, they're good because you're maximizing your time taking two orders. As long as they're both good now, I really enjoy them. And typically, yeah, I would say 50-50, the houses are gonna be within your area or your zone. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because there are times that it will have one that's really good, that's close to you, and then the second one is super far or out of your zone or a place you don't wanna be. That's what you need to be careful of. Let's talk about that first. Oh Lord, look at that. Somebody kicked in the glass maybe. So let's talk about a bad one first. You see this one here, 525, and you see the little says two orders. That means you're going to, with DoorDash, it's one merchant. It'll say it'll tell you if it's two. It'll say like High Point and like Wendy's or something. This one just says High Point Diner, two orders and the amount. That is a horrible order. I don't recommend taking that even if it's going a mile or two. I, it's just not good because you know you've got to go to two different drop-offs. Okay, for that amount of money, in my opinion, it's not worth it at all. Now, let's talk about a good one. Now, this one here is from Panera, $12 and some change. I think it says four point something miles, so the miles to money is good. It's one merchant, okay? Now, merchants will be you know, uh, specific to your area. Maybe your Panera or Breadco is bad and mine is good. Maybe you stay away from per particular areas, so yeah, take that into consideration as well. But this one's good at the surface for me because it tells me, that amount tells me probably both of them have a decent tip on them, could be a hidden tip, you know. I'm not gonna go into details on that. I got plenty of videos breaking down how to find the hidden tips. But that pretty much tells me the likelihood of both orders being one's five, one's six and some change, they're both six dollars, is probably pretty high, okay? Also look at item counts. If you see a lot of items, one of them is probably a bigger order and it will be more. Okay, a lot of times that helps me and it breaks, helps me break it down a little bit. But that's a good one on the surface, right? So, let's talk about what you can do if after you accept it, you wanna find out the breakdown of each order. Because sometimes it will tell you, 
all the times it so will not. So it's going to tell you at the face value on the interface 1250, okay? That's both orders combined. Sometimes when you hit that, it will, the GPS will know, okay, I'll go ahead and head to your store and it will tell you this order, let's say $6. Because it's telling you you're going on the way to pick up the first one, even if, even if they're at the same store. So then that should automatically tell you, do a little bit of math there. The other one's six fifty. dollars Follow me? So that tells you, okay, each person probably tipped. It's probably a good order. All good. Okay. Now let's say it tells you this order's 10 bucks. That tells you that second one at the same merchant is going to be $2.50. That's bad. There's no tip. It could have been sitting there for a while. You can actually unassign that order by tapping on the question mark, selecting the order that is $2.50, unassigning it, telling them a particular reason, and you'll keep the $10 one at the face value of the miles. I say that for this reason. This isn't always true, but in my experience, DoorDash will stack. Sometimes they'll stack a bad offer that's been floating around, maybe been rejected, there's no tip, nobody wants it. They'll stack it with a decent one going maybe in the same proximity, or even sometimes it's going most of the miles of the one going, you know, it could be 0.9 miles to the good tipping customer. You want to keep that for 10 bucks. That's better than doing 12.50 for 4.9 miles, where the four miles is going to the one that's 250. Nobody should be taking 250 order for four miles. So that's a quick way you can decide. You can decide if you want to keep both of them or not. Okay. And as long as your completion rating doesn't drop below 80%, do not, NRP, do not be afraid to unassign an order. You have the power as a contractor to do that. You can take what you want, as much as you want, as little as you want, unassign. As long as you don't unassign more than 20 out of your last 100 deliveries, after you said you you know would accept it, you're okay. Now, some of you might say, well, Pedro, I accepted it at face value. The miles to money is good. Completely right. Even if you do that for 1250 at 4.9, it's good. But this is what, I'll play devil's advocate for with those people for one minute here. Why would you want to keep a 250 order going four miles, going any amount of miles? Because you, because if I just keep the one that's 10 bucks, I'm going to complete that one and be well on my way to another offer that should pay me more than 250. Instead of wasting the time either waiting for that order at the Panera, driving to the drop off, maybe I got to wait for the customer because they're not ready. Why waste any amount of time for $2.50? I'll do the $10 order complete it and then be on my way to the next offer that will be more money. So there are times that the stacks are going to be good and there are times that are going to be bad. You have to make a personal decision to decide if you're willing to do that or not and what you're willing to do. But a lot of times, a lot of dashers are leaving money on the table by completing these really small orders that are combined in the stack. Also, quick pro tip, you can unassign that Panera and many times this happened to me. I've turned a $12.50 offer down to a $10 offer, and then they'll send me another one, let's say for six or seven bucks. So then I just made an extra four or five, six bucks because I made that decision to get rid of the crappy. All right, we just delivered that order, $3 tip, 325 base pay. It was a delivery order, so you had to scan the ID and all that stuff. Really easy, I don't mind doing those really. Only run into one issue in my time. Don't be afraid of those guys. Now, let's talk about what DoorDash says about these orders. I'm going to put some split screens here. I got an email yesterday. That's what prompted me to want to talk about this because I know a lot of new people come to this channel and new dashers every day and they might have questions, right? So DoorDash sent this email out talking about the why, you know, answering questions, why, you know, you get stacks and, you know, things like that and give us a little bit of information about them. You can find all this stuff on the website as well. So if you go like the DoorDash report or if you just type in doordash.com on Google, you could find all this stuff very easily. It's at your fingertips, okay? But another, as you can see in some of these split screens, that's kind of what they say about it. I won't read verbatim, but you know they're gonna say all the good things about it. I wanna give you guys the real, because they're not all good. But I do think mostly, if you know what to look for, they're absolutely, they can be absolutely fantastic. Just not all the time, like with any order, I guess. But most of your orders are gonna be stacked to where they, they show up two at the same time. Sometimes, I've only had this happen to me one time, and I'm at a lot of deliveries, guys, to where there'll be three, or it'll start as two, and then they'll add another one. That's only happened to me. It's not common, and I'm in a busy area, but I know it happens sometimes. So it might be up to three sometimes, and at that point, you can still decide if you want to take it or not. But also, you might get a single order, let's say, from 7-Eleven, like the one I just did, 
And as you're driving there, they'll add another 7-Eleven or they'll add another one from a place that's really close. What's going on here? People, some people just don't know how to really drive. Okay. But they'll add another one on your route, right? To the same store, different store. And at that point, it will literally say add to route. And it'll give you the amount. It'll give you the uh, miles. It gives you all the same information. Oh, we got an offer coming in. Right, my oh, geez. Look at his order. What do we do with that? Where's it go? And what do we say? Kobe in the trash can. All right. So add to route. What to know about these is, and all stacks actually, they pay you less. So my base pay is two twenty five in my market. That's what it starts out as, and it can go up from there based on other factors, miles, distance, how many times it's been declined. But when I get a stack, each one's only going to pay me two, so it takes some money away from me. And the ones that say add to route, those will also the base pay will be lower. So you can just make a decision based on miles to money, merchant face value if you want to add it to your also, route. quick disclaimer, DoorDash will say these orders on, are on the same route. Many times I have found they are not on the same route. I've had add to orders or stacks. I've had to add to orders where it's like nine miles. How's that in the same route? Not even, There's no nine miles in whatever way I'm going to where that's on the same. Plus, sometimes it will compromise that first person's order. For example, I've had KFC orders. There's a Taco Bell right next to it. KFC, I'm in the line. I pick the food up. And they add a Taco Bell or vice versa to my route for 5.6 miles for six bucks. Not a great order because now I got to go back in the other places line. I could be sitting there for a while. I got this person's food. Not cool. Try to stay away from those unless the money's really big or the miles are really low. Now, the third type of stacked or batch that you might see, and this one's not quite like the other two. It's very different. And they started this a couple months ago and I haven't seen it as often. But check this one out. Okay, so these kind of orders are very different. Uber does it and DoorDash does it, okay? You'll be about, let's say, half a mile, maybe closer, maybe, you know, you'll be close to dropping off an order that you've already accepted and picked up. And the interface will show add order to route. And this is like, it's crazy because you may be using your in-app navigation, it's not safe. The interface of the navigation goes away and now this order pops up. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. That's all, how all the platforms work, guys, okay? You gotta make that decision, is it good, is it bad? Now, the positive thing is you might be getting a really good order and it keeps you busy and it keeps you moving, making money, that's fantastic. Bad thing is it's unsafe, you gotta make a quick decision, you're probably driving. I've had it to where I'm trying to drop food off and take pictures and orders come in, kinda crazy. But the bad thing also, the, one of the bad things about this, besides just the safety and the inconvenience and maybe the annoyance of it is they're gonna pay you less. If they just waited 30 seconds or a minute to send you that offer, you'd actually make more in base pay. Something to think about. They tested it in some markets. I haven't seen it back in mine. DoorDash and Uber, they test these things out frequently. Just know, make the best decisions for your business as you're in your office. Look at miles to money, look at merchants, look at drop off locations. Um, look at how, you know, if you see one that seems good, but then that, that tip, there's no tip on one of them. And I talked about how to find that and do that. I got many videos talking about that. You could, don't be afraid to once again, unassign the bad one so that you can make more money on the next offer they'll give you, especially if you're in a busy market or it's a busy time of day. Do not waste any time completing a $2 order. It's not worth it in my opinion. All right, guys, while we were talking, we got a 625 uh, Joyful Seafood House. It is a Thai, no, Vietnamese, I think, actually owned really cool market and they have like a restaurant in there and all kind of like delicacies from the uh, Vietnamese community or whatever. Like it's it's really cool when you walk in. I'll take you guys in 625, but I want to share that with you because a lot of you guys know this, some of you might not. It all depends on what your base pay is in your market. But in my market, like I said, it's 225. So DoorDash is showing me a $4 tip. Most likely, right? That's where they get the 625 from. If a customer tips more than four dollars so let's say they tip five bucks many times they were not going to show me that offer and it's not going to say 725 it'll say 625 and then a dollar more will come in after i complete it it's called a hidden tip we all know this some of you might not so when i see 625 it's telling me okay the customer could have tipped me four and it's going to stay that way most of the time it's going to be a dollar more two dollars more four dollars more based on maybe how many items there are this was only three items, so the likelihood of it staying at 625 is probably high, 
but I think it probably could go to 725 or 825. Let's pick it up, let's drop it off, let's so, find as it. As you can see here, it's $17 and I believe 97 cents worth of food. So I believe a $4 tip is probably pretty accurate, so it's probably gonna stay at 625. Doesn't mean it didn't tip more, but look at those subtotals, subtotals are back. If the subtotal would have been 30, 40, 50 bucks, then that's a huge indicator that that's probably more than 625. Don't take all 625s and say, Pedro said there's a hidden tip. No, 95% of the time for me there is, but I'll only take it if the miles to money and the merchant still match. So for example, if that was going nine miles, I still say no. Unless it says like something crazy, like 20, 30 items, I might be willing to gamble a little bit. Three items though, 625 for nine, 10 miles, probably a no for me, but this one was only going two miles and some change. So all things considered, if it says 625, Still a good miles to money offer, and it's a good fast merchant, so everything else aligned for me. Before we get into that, I want one more thing I wanna say about the stacked or batched offers, okay, or add to route offers. A lot of you guys are gonna say, I'm gonna text a customer that I have another order. Now, I have shown you DoorDash actually sometimes, at least from in my market, what I've seen when I order from DoorDash, it will tell me if I'm looking in the app that the driver has another route, another order completing, and then they're on your way. So if the customer's looking and they do that in your market, I don't feel there's a need to communicate with the customer unless there's a long wait. Okay, if there's a long wait, by all means, I think we should be communicating. But I say that because I don't think it's a good idea to take these stacked offers and, and text both customers. I have two routes, I'm gonna beat it. I think sometimes two information is, too much information is bad. It can be a, almost like an annoyance. Plus, if there isn't a problem, why make a problem? I recommend texting customers if there's long waits or something's going on then keep, be communicative, but don't just, text, don't just text them, text them, because they might already know that already. All right guys, we are here, Joyful House, World Market. The things in places like this tend to just be a lot more colorful. <laughs> Fried fish. How about some pork? It's locked. Right, door was locked, but she came down. Look right here, see? 625, 95% of the time is more. It went it winds up being 675. They hide those tips on 625s, something to think about. Also, quick tip, on stacked orders, don't confirm one of them until you got both of them. Because if something happens on the one that you don't have yet, you gotta call support to unassign. If something does happen and you haven't hit confirm yet on the first one that you have, you can unassign it. Just hit confirm when you have both orders in your hand. To the devil, boom, just got another 625 El Magway, 1.9 miles, I'll do that all day long. I'm gonna go do this one, I'll save you guys the hassle of doing any more today, we've done enough. I just wanted to give you guys DoorDash sent me that uh, email about stacked orders and I feel like I know a lot about them. Drop comments if I miss something. Let me know about your experiences with stacks, how you feel about them. See you guys in the next one. One more thing, you know me. Speaking of tomorrow, we're going back live Sunday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I take live phone calls starting at 9.15. We missed last week because I had something come up. We're back and better than ever tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys look forward to it. I love it. I love ending my week with you guys and beginning the new week with you guys. 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. The topic I think you'll like. I'll put it in a community post tomorrow. It's gonna to be a good, it's gonna be a good show. See you then.